Okay, so we're going to start. So sit in a cross-legged seated position with your palms facing up and gently close your eyes and just notice if you have any tension or any pain in your body. For now, don't try to control your breath. But pay attention to your breath. Feel the breath come in through your nose and out. So scan your body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Relax your forehead, your eyes, your ears your jaws and your cheeks. Bring your awareness to your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your belly, your legs, from your thighs, to your knees, to your shins and your calves, and your feet. And just bring your attention to your whole body. Let go of any thought. If there's any disturbing thought, just welcome it and let it go. Now focus back on your breath. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. And just stay there for a few minutes, just to relax, just to unwind. And before we start our session today, we'll chant on three times. And at the end of the session, we'll chant on three times again to close the session. For now, just focus back on your breath and on your body. So today we're going to focus on the back. So notice if you have any pain in your back. Are you, stand, are you sitting straight? Are you sitting sideways? Are you hunched? And now we'll chant on three times. So bring your palms together in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in. Um. Rub your hands together. and place them in front of your closed eyes. Feel the heat transfer from your hands to your eyes and gently massage your face and your neck. Bring your palms back together in front of your heart. Open your eyes. Namaste. So, we're going to start the session by warm-ups. So place your, extend your legs in front of you and put your hands back and simply flex, keep your legs down. I'm just showing you on the camera. Flex your toes to you and point them back. Flex and forward. Flex towards you, point. Flex 
coins and now rotate. And change direction. Good. Now grab one of your legs and extend your leg upwards and back down. Upward, down, up, down. This time stay up, rotate in one direction and in the other direction. All right, release this leg and switch side. Grab your left leg and extend up, bend down, then up, bend down, then up, rotate to one side gently and switch directions. And bring back your legs down. Now, Go into a butterfly position and grab your toes and gently flap your knees. Keep your back straight and don't forget to breathe it. All right. Now sit in a cross-legged seated position. We're going to do some stretches in the back. So first of all, um, bring your left arm up and catch, catch your hands behind in your back. So bend your right arm and catch. If you can't, you can use a strap or a belt and simply do the same exercise. And we'll stay here for three breaths. So this is an excellent stretch for the back that you can do any time of the day, especially any time you're working on a desk or a computer. One last breath. And switch sides. There we go. We'll stay here for three breaths. And release. Set your belt aside. Now bring your right arm up. Take a deep inhale, extend your spine to the ceiling and bend to the left. Keep both your buttocks on the floor and look up. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. So you, could, you should feel a deep stretch here and come back to center. Now we'll switch sides, take your left arm up, take a deep inhale, lift your chest up to the ceiling and slowly bend to the right. And look up. By looking up, you're making sure that you're opening your shoulders and not just staying like this. One last breath and come back to center. Now, take your left hand, put it out your right knee and your right hand, put it behind you and twist, to gently twist and turn your head back. And please don't forget to breathe. Come back to center, switch side, right hand, outside the left knee, left hand behind, and twist. Make sure that you push on your right arm that's extended. 
Breathe in and out. One last breath. And back to center. Now we'll rotate the shoulders. So push the shoulders in front of you up and back. Rotate the shoulders. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Switch directions. Inhale up, exhale down. One last time. Okay, now this time, um, bring your shoulders up, 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 all the way up, and you're going to shake up and down like this. So this will release all the tension in your shoulders. One last time. Okay, and now we'll warm up the neck. So inhale, look up. And exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, look down. Come back to center. Inhale, look right. Exhale, look left. Inhale, look right. Exhale, look left. One last time. Inhale, look right. And exhale, look left. Come back to center. Now, inhale, look down. Tilt your head to the right. Look up. Tilt your head to the left. And look down. Right. Up. Left, down. One last round. Up, left, down. Switch directions. Left, up, right, down. Left, up, right, down. And one last time. Left, up, right, down. Okay, so we can start the session with some moon salutation. So come to the edge of your mat. <clears throat> so I hope you can see me, but we'll go very slowly, but very fluidly as well. So bring your arms up, look up, can you see me? Yeah. Gently bend backwards. And, um, and from your hips, just tilt all the way down. Sorry, <laughs> we're going to start again because you need to be on top of your, um, of your mat. <laughs> okay, so lift your arms up. Bend backward and rotate all the way down to a forward bend. Now you can bend your knees. Don't feel pressure to go all the way down. You can bend your knees and stay here, or you can catch your shins or even your thighs. Everything's fine. Now bring your right leg back. Put your knee down. <clears throat> Bring your palms together in front of your heart. Lift your arms up to the ceiling. <clears throat> Squeeze your buttocks and bend backwards as far as you can. And come back down. Put your hands to the floor and go into a downward facing dog. 
Stay here for a little while. Put your knees down, your chest down, and your chin down, and go into a cobra. Inhale, and exhale as you go into downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, bring it between your hands, <clears throat> and tuck your toes. Again, palms in front of your heart. Lift your arms up to the ceiling, look up, squeeze your buttocks, and gently bend backwards. Put your arms back down. Bring your left foot forward. Stay in a bent, a forward bend. And bring your arms up all the way to the ceiling. Rotate from your hips. Slightly bend backwards. And bring your palms in front of your heart. Okay, one last, one more round. And bring your arms all the way to the ceiling. Squeeze your buttocks and bend backwards as far as you can. And rotate your hips into a forward bend. From here, put your left foot back, put your left knee down, place your palms in front of your heart, bring your arms up, and squeeze your buttocks and bend backwards as far as you can. Put your hands back down, put your right foot back, and bring your hips to the sky shift your weight to your buttocks and your feet and put your knees down your chest down your chin down push yourself to a cobra pose look up and back into a downward facing dog Lift your left foot up, bring it forward between your hands, hands in front of your heart, bring your arms up, and bend backwards, and bring your palms back down. Bring your right foot forward. Stay here for a while, and Bring your arms all the way to the ceiling. Slightly bend backwards, squeeze your buttocks. And place your palm in front of your heart. Okay, very good for these moon salutations. Now, um, maybe you better this way. Is it better? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Now we're going to do the mountain pose. So for this one, uh, sorry, keep your feet uh, together. And you're going to put your, so uh, don't, don't bend your knees, I'm just showing you. You're going to put your hands on top of your head, palms facing up, and you're going to point your toes, and as you point your toes, you're going to lift your arms all the way. So you're basically like the letter I. Comme la lettre I. Donc vous vous mettez sur la pointe des pieds et vous continuez de respirer. Vos bras, vos mains sont um, sont jointes ensemble et vos bras sont bien bien haut vers le plafond. Et vous expirez alors que vous descendez. On va le refaire plusieurs fois. Alors, on le refait déjà une fois. Vous prenez une grande inspiration. Et on se met sur la pointe des pieds. On tend les bras vers le ciel. Pour ne pas perdre l'équilibre, vous fixez un seul point avec vos yeux. 
et vous ne regardez rien d'autre. Et à chaque fois que vous inspirez, vous essayez d'étendre le dos encore plus vers le ciel. Et vous expirez, on redescend. Une dernière fois, cette fois pour un peu plus de défi, vous pouvez regarder vers le ciel ou vous pouvez fermer les yeux, voir si vous arrivez à garder l'équilibre. On prend une inspiration. Et à l'expire, on se met sur la pointe des pieds, on tend les bras. Et on essaye de regarder vers le ciel. On essaye de fermer les yeux. Peut-être pas les deux à la fois pour commencer. Et on continue de respirer. Et on expire. Très bien. Je retourne à l'anglais. <laughs> So for this pose, this is, we're going to do Kunasana. Spread your legs, keep your feet parallel to each other. And you're going to put your hands together and bring them up to the ceiling. I'm, I'm uh, kind of doing like a, like a gun <laughs> to make it easier, but anything is okay if you can, if you feel better with keeping your palms together, that's fine. So bring your palms up, extend your spine, and as you exhale, bend to the right, as far as you can. And come back to center. We're going to switch side. Bring your palms back up. Take a deep inhale, and as you exhale, bend to the left side. Keep on breathing. And come back up. Good. Another variation to do this, we're going to do one more round round each side. You can um, you can bend your left arm and put your right hand on the left elbow and do it this way. Okay? So we're going to try this way. So bend your right arm, pull your left elbow, sorry, bend your left arm, pull your left elbow with your right hand all the way to the side. Keep on breathing. And you should feel a deep stretch here. Maybe you, um, maybe you can uh, hear some digestive organs playing. And come back up. Switch sides, so bend your left arm and with your left hand bring your right elbow all the way to the left side. And we're staying here for four breaths. And come back. Okay, stay there with your legs apart. We're going into triangle pose. So, spread your arms, turn your right toes out. So for, in terms of alignment, make sure that your hips stay parallel to your mat. Okay, don't turn, don't rotate your hips. Keep them straight to the camera or to your head, to, to the mat, and your right heel should be aligned with the middle of your left foot. Okay, so spread your arms and start going to the right side. Extend your spine as far away, as far away as possible, and gently bend to your right foot. Okay. 
So here, you may not touch the floor and that's absolutely fine. You can catch your ankle, your shin, or even your thigh, but please don't put your hand on your knee. So if you're at the ankle or at the shin, each time you exhale, just try sliding down a little bit further. And from here, put your left hand on the ground. Turn your left ankle a little bit and rotate, twist to the, to the back. And here, make sure that your weight is lifted by the arm that's uh, hanging in the, towards the ceiling, okay? Don't put the whole weight on your hand that's down. Comme si vous étiez tiré par quelque chose qui pend du plafond. Ne mettez pas tout votre poids sur votre main qui est par terre. Mais au contraire, euh, faites comme si vous tenez quelque chose qui pend du plafond. And open your shoulders. And put your right hand back down. Come back to our first pose. And come back to center. Now we're going to switch sides. So turn your right heel back to the center, or your right toe, sorry, and turn your left toes outwards. Make sure that your hips are parallel to the edge of the mat. Your left heel should be aligned with the middle of your right foot. Okay, spread your arms. Look to the left. Start to bend to the left, extend your spine, and reach to your right, your left foot. Again, please don't put your hand on your knee. Go as low as possible with each exhale. And once you're comfortable, look up. One last breath here. Put your left hand down in front of your right, your, sorry, put your right hand down in front of your left foot and twist. Keep on breathing. We'll stay here for three breaths. And put your left hand back down. Bring your right hand back up. And come back to center. Okay, shake your legs a little bit. Good, good. Now we're going to one of the favorite poses, camel pose. So come down to your knees. <clears throat> And make um tuck your sorry, I'm just going to move this camera a little bit. Okay. So tuck your toes like me. And here, what do you want what you want to do is to arch the the upper back, okay? This pose is excellent to prevent bad posture and any lower back pain. So, but make sure you do it correctly. So this pose, you will have to catch your ankles with your hands. So make sure that you squeeze your buttocks and that you push your thighs forward, your hips forward, okay? I don't want you to see, I don't want to see you like this. I want you to see, I want to see you um, with a 90 degree angle with the, with the floor, okay. Take a deep inhale, squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward, and slowly catch one ankle, and then the other, and arch your back. And from here, 
you can keep your you you can keep your gaze wherever you want. You can look forward, or you can just let your head hang. So remember to arch your back as much as possible. Squeeze your buttocks to protect your lower back. Push your hips forward and come back up. We'll do it one more time. If you want more challenge, untuck your toes. Make sure that your knees are uh, right down your, uh, below your, your hips. So squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward, 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 forward. Catch one ankle, then the other. Look forward or let your head hang as you wish. Very good. Expand your chest. We'll stay here for one more breath. And come back up. So now come into a seated leg, seated position. Extend your right leg. Bend your left leg, and we'll do some forward bends to as a counterpose to the backward bend we just did. So lift your arms up, extend your spine, turn towards your left leg, and bend forward. Now, if you have a belt, or this is the strap for my yoga mat, you can catch your foot and just hold on to the strap. Just make sure that your back stays as straight as possible. And each time you exhale, just try to bend a little bit, a little bit lower with each exhale. And we'll stay here for four breaths. Come back to center and switch sides. So extend your left leg, bend your right leg. Hold on to your strap if you have one or your belt. Lift your arms up, extend your spine, turn towards your left leg and catch your left foot with the strap. Make sure to straighten your back. And we'll stay here for four breaths. So again, with each exhale, just try to go a little bit lower. This pose and the next one are really good to alleviate any um, leg fatigue and, uh, and lower back tension. One last breath. And release. Now extend both legs in front of you. And again, if you have a strap, lift it up and bend forward. Catch your feet. Make sure to keep your back as straight as possible. And go a little bit lower with each exhale. We'll stay here for four breaths. If this is too uncomfortable for you, feel free to bend your legs a little bit, okay?
One last breath. And release. Now, uh, um, we're going to do butterfly again. So bring your feet together, the soles of your feet uh, against each other and interlock your fingers around the toes and gently flap your knees to the floor. Keep your back straight as, as straight as possible. Keep on breathing through your nose. One last breath. Okay, so from here, the transition is, uh, <laughs> is going to be a little bit funny. Push yourself forward <laughs> and jump into a plank position and then chaturanga. So chaturanga very slowly, you put your body to the floor. Okay, so from here, we're going to do um, Shavasana. So uh, you close your fists, put your arms uh, along your, your body, put your chin down, look in front of you, look forward, and you're going to tuck your toes, lift your bum, and squeeze the fist um, underneath your, your body. So come back. So basically your fists are under your body. And from here, as you inhale, you lift one foot, one leg up. So make sure to squeeze your body, your buttocks. Put your chin down and gaze forward. And release. Switch sides. Inhale. Raise your left leg up. Make sure that your hips stay grounded. And back down. Switch side again. We're, we're just warming up our legs and our backs. And after that, we'll put both legs up. For now, release your right leg. Bring your left leg up. Breathe and back down. So now be very careful. We'll do both legs at the same time. Take a deep inhale, put your chin down, and as you exhale, bring both legs as high as you can. And stay here for three breaths. Release. Okay, we'll do it once more. Relax a little bit. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, lift both legs up. We'll stay here for four breaths. Squeeze your buttocks to protect your lower back. And lower your legs. Okay, very good. Now come on all fours and do some cat pose. So round your back as, as, uh, as much as possible. Let your head hang. This is, we're just doing this as a counter pose between two backward bends. Come back to uh, middle position and we'll, we're, we'll just do it once more. So bring your belly button up, round your back, 
push your mat away from you and keep on breathing. And come back down. Okay, good. Now come back on um, come back on your on your belly. We, we are going to do some cobra pose. So for cobra pose, make sure that your hands are close to your armpits. Squeeze your legs together, okay? Um, and squeeze your buttocks and then peel off just using, uh, using your back muscles as much as possible and your abdominals. Put your upper chest up and then your lower back up. Push very slightly on your hands and lift your chest up to the ceiling as you look up. Squeeze your buttocks and come back down. So that was just a demonstration. We'll stay a little bit longer each time. So make sure to squeeze the buttocks because this will protect your lower back, okay? The aim here is to arch the, the upper back, not to hurt our lower back, okay? So hands underneath your armpits. Take a deep inhale. Peel off your upper chest, your upper back, lower back. Lift your chest up. Push very slightly on your hands to arch your upper back. Squeeze your buttocks and look up. And keep on breathing. We'll stay here for three breaths. And come back down. For the next one, we'll stay for four breaths. And if you want more challenge, you can either do exactly like we did, or you can interlock your hands and use your hands and your arms to lift your, yourself up, okay? Each way is okay. So take a deep inhale and lift your upper back and your lower back. And look up. And we'll stay here for four minutes. And come back down. Okay, good. Now lift yourself up into all fours. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up, 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 up to the ceiling into a downward facing dog. We're just doing this as a counter pose to relax our back. We're, we'll stay here for four breaths. Lift your right leg up and bring it forward. We're just doing some twists. So bend your right knee, bring your left foot outside of your right knee, bring your right elbow outside of your left knee and left hand behind and twist. And keep on breathing, we'll stay here for four breaths. Okay, release, switch sides, so bend your left leg, put your right knee outside of your left knee, left elbow outside of your right knee, right hand behind and twist.
And we'll stay here for one more breath. Okay, and release. Well, <clears throat> go on your back. Can you see me well? No, no. There we go. Go on your back, and we'll do some more arching of the backs. So, um, if you can do the lotus pose, you can do it. If you cannot, just leave your legs extended together. And from here, just go on your elbows and arch, arch, arch your back as much as you can. Arch, arch, arch. You can hold your back and put your head on the floor with your, arc, with your back arch, arched as much as you can. And just let go of your, of your arms. So your weight is on your head and on your buttocks. Your back is not touching the floor. This pose is excellent for back flexibility and back strength. And it's also very relaxing. Fish pose. Keep on breathing. And make sure that your legs are relaxed. Be aware of your of the tension in your back. If your legs and your arms are relaxed, and with the, with the help of your elbows, come back into a lying position. Okay, we'll do it once more. So use your elbows to arch your back as much as you can, and slowly put your head on the floor as you take out your elbows. And now your weight is on the head and on your buttocks. Relax your legs, relax your arms. Just arch, arch, arch your back. And we'll stay here for four breaths. You can close your eyes if you want. Relax the shoulders. And with the help of your elbows, <clears throat> sorry, come back into a lying position. Okay, now stay here. We'll, as a counter pose, we'll do um, some, um, uh, the, the, the pose where you put your feet behind your back, okay? Inhale, and as you exhale, bring your legs up and push your feet back very slowly. And you don't have to extend your legs. If you can, that's good, but you can bend your legs. Here, the focus is not on the legs anyway, it's on the back. So this pose is excellent for back alignment, spine alignment. One last breath here. And slowly come back down. We'll do it a couple more times. <clears throat> Good, relax a little bit. You can um, warm up your neck a little bit if you feel that you need to by tilting it from left to right, left to right. Okay, 
you know, inhale. And as you exhale, bring your legs up. Use your hands to push your buttocks backwards. And put your feet back. We'll stay here for four breaths. Very good. And slowly and gently come back. Release. Bring your legs back down. Very good. Okay. Now, this is the last challenging pose. Uh, wheel pose. So bend your knees <clears throat> with your feet as close as possible to your buttocks. As a warm up, what, we, what you'll do is to lift your buttocks and hold, hold your hips with your hands and arch your back. Arch your back. Keep on breathing. And come back down. Okay. Now, if this was already challenging, do exactly the same thing. If at any point you don't feel well, you can just squeeze your knees as a counter pose. Okay? You can stop this pose anytime and squeeze your knees. Okay. So, for those who want a little bit more challenge, bend your knees again. And as you lift up, we'll do the warm up version first. You can walk your elbows in a little bit to force your back to arch. And you can bring your hands behind your shoulders, lift quickly your head, and put your head back down on the floor. Okay? So this is a slight of variation. And release. Okay. Now, choose the variation you want, the first one or the second one. And if you want more challenge again, you can do the whole wheel pose. So we'll do one step at a time. So inhale. As you exhale, go into our first variation. And then second variation with your head on the floor. And third variation is to lift your head up from the floor. And extend your arms. And come back down. Okay. We'll do it once more. Choose the variation you want and go to this variation directly. Don't feel forced to do all the steps. I'll do the last variation, but if you feel that you want to do the first one, that's absolutely fine. But we'll, we'll try to stay for four long breaths, okay? So, get ready. Inhale. For those who want to go directly to the second or third step, prepare your hands behind your shoulders. Inhale and exhale. Extend your arms for those in the last variation. Arch your back. Two more breaths. And release. Very good, very good. Now extend your, your legs <clears throat> and 
bring your sorry bring your right leg up extend your uh, right arm and with your left hand push your right knee down to the floor into a twist and look at your right hand we'll stay here for five breaths because this is a nice um, nice pose to relax and come back to center switch side so take your left leg bend your left leg with your right knee push uh, with your right hand push your left knee to the ground and look at your extended left arm we'll stay here for five breaths and come back okay now extend your legs find a comfortable position palms facing up your arms beside your body and close your eyes bring your awareness to your breath and see if you're breathing fast or slowly. Feel the inside of your mouth. Does it feel dry? Relax your jaws. Relax your lips. Relax your cheeks. Feel the air coming through your nose little bit cold and warmer as it comes out of your nose. Relax your eyes. Relax your eyebrows, the forehead, your ears, and feel the weight of your head sink to the floor. Now bring your awareness to your neck and gently release all the muscles in your neck. Relax your shoulders, your upper arms, your lower arms, the palms of your hands and your fingers. And feel the arms sink to the floor. Now focus on your chest and on your belly. Feel your belly button rise as you breathe in and go lower as you breathe out. Now focus on your pelvis, relax your buttocks your thighs, your calf muscles, the soles of your feet and your toes. And feel the weight of your legs go through the floor. And feel the whole body being pulled by gravity. And stay here for a few breaths.
Now bring back your focus to your breath, to the sounds inside your room. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Turn your head from left to right and from right to left. Keep your eyes closed, but turn to your left side. Keep your eyes closed and push yourself up to a seated position. Bring your palms together in front of your heart. And again, scan through your body. And see if you feel any tension. Or just notice if you're relaxed. We'll chant on three times to end the session. So take a deep inhale and chant with me. Oh. Oh. Rub your palms together and put your palms in front of your closed eyes. Feel the heat transfer to your eyes. Gently massage your face and your neck and bring your palms back in front of your hearts. Open your eyes. Namaste.